someone asked us about the book uh, by Patrick Madrid and Peter Veer or Very. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce his name. Um, More Catholic than the Pope. This is a book um, against traditionalism. Uh, what we think of this. Uh, I've quickly gone through the book. Basically, the the whole book is about the Society of Saint Pius X and and how they don't like the Society of Saint Pius X. It doesn't have much of anything uh, of substance regarding the the heresies of the postconciliar church or their responses to those who would say that the postconciliar church is heretical. Um, but what's very interesting is again, and it ties into what we're talking about now about how Benedict the Sixteenth just said he loves the schismatic church. Um, that on page 130 of that book, Patrick Madrid and Peter Vary say, in Archbishop Lefebvre having consecrated these bishops and the four men he illicitly ordained as bishops plunge themselves headlong into schism. So they're saying here, bluntly, clearly, that the Society of St. Pius X, for having Sim- Archbishop Lefebvre and his four bishops, and it, and it indicates elsewhere that the followers of the Society of St. Pius X are in schism. They're in schism for, you know, doing consecrations of, you know, you know, bishops in the traditional rite on, I think it was June 30th, 1988. And within 72 hours, they were excommunicated by John Paul II, showing again that the only religion that isn't tolerated by the post-Vatican II Church is traditional Catholicism. Everything else is accepted. Every religion's endorsed except for traditional Catholicism. You know, you want traditional rights to be maintained and perpetuated, you're going to be excommunicated immediately. And so it's it's just it's so outrageous and ridiculous and hypocritical that they declare that the group like the Society of Saint Pius X from their standpoint is in schism. Meanwhile, Benedict XVI is praising the whole schismatic sect again and again. And what's amazing about this is in his book, uh, Pope Fiction, Patrick Madrid, who was also the co-author of that other book we're referring to, um, he says on page 152, it's really interesting, uh, he said he's discussing an argument made by the Eastern schismatics who call themselves Orthodox. And he says, quote, this argument is sometimes raised by our Eastern Orthodox brethren. So Patrick Madrid calling the members of the schismatic church our Eastern Orthodox brethren. But on the sa- in the same book, on page 274, referring to a state of a contest, he says, quote, A position paper put out by one schismatic group of Marian state of a contest priests put it more starkly. And then he quotes something. So he's clearly saying on page 274 that the state of a contest priests are schismatics. Meanwhile, on page 152, Two, he says that the Eastern Orthodox are brethren. This yeah. just shows you how evil these these guys are, and these are the type of individuals who try to explain away every heresy of the post-Vatican II sect. I mean, they're so bad-willed and blinded that they won't even come to denounce like Assisi as apostasy, where John Paul II arranged for the heads of false religions to worship false gods. I mean, they're not even at the point where they're rejecting this as novelty and, and a revolution against Catholic teaching. I mean, and these people, if they honestly look at, look at the facts, they'll see that you know what they're publishing here, what they're promoting, is a total lie. They're calling a group that would claim to hold all of Catholic teaching a schismatic group or a schismatic priest in the case of a priest, and they're calling a formerly schismatic sect, a, a, a group that says they don't accept the last 13 councils of the church. They don't accept papal infallibility. They I constantly mean, they, carry yeah, on Yeah, I mean, it's just basically like a Protestant church that has valid sacraments. Uh, they say that there are brothers. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's so evil. Yeah, so I you mean, would... and, and so they're just liars. And so they just basically, they take the mark of the beast, really. They sell their souls out. Because if they regarded these, quote, schismatic groups that the post-Vatican II Church regards as schismatics, these independent state of a contest groups, for example, um, if they called them brothers, you know, that may, may not, uh, you know, be too pleasing to the ears of uh, the Novus Ordo Church. So they just say that they're schismatics, but the open schismatic group 
doesn't even claim to be Catholic. They're our brothers because John Paul II regards them as our brothers. John Paul II gives them relics of saints. John Paul II gives them donations, including a $100,000 donation to one schismatic church. John Paul II was at the laying of the foundation stone of these schismatic churches. So they just accept the lie for their to keep their career going and for whatever other reasons. But the bottom line is that it will cost them their salvation if they don't change their position on this issue.